application builder uh, with mobile, but it actually kind of grew from that because we kind of added functions to it where we could build like a mini application. So if, if you've had a long history with J.D. Edwards, if you go back to the world days where they had their tool that was called Clone uh, uh, with, with that tool, you could actually kind of build a, uh, a, a application just by answering a few questions or filling out a few things of data, and it would give you a little application where you add updates to a table. Then you could go in and actually um, uh, make code changes to it and make it function the way you really want it to function, but it gave you kind of a jump start. So we started kind of adding some of those features to the tool because we needed to be able to create an application on the fly where we could keep track of, say, in real estate or our property tax information. Now, we don't want to put it in logs. We don't want to have to go out and write a, write a system to keep track of that. This is one place we actually track it. They can, they can create a... Uh, like a spreadsheet or a mini application in the tool, and then they've got it. They can reference it, they can read, uh, or SDM can read from it, they can run reports off of it, and they don't have to build any tables, they don't have to build any programs, it's all kind of pre-built around that. So it gives them uh, unlimited grids and versions, they can form calculations uh, right in a cell, just like you, you can in Excel, uh, and it makes the other video where modules and data is uh, accessible real time. To bring it in, you can use data browser to go grab some data and jump it and drop it in there. In many different ways, you know, the import, export type stuff that you would with the, you have with the grid. Um, it's completely integrated with the FCM, so formulas and calculations are all available in the tool, and you can build this like an application builder. So we've got one of uh, one of our app guys that uh, uh, was looking at that and wanted to be able to track some other data. They have some stuff in, in EP where they want to they want to keep track of submitting. Uh, some things by building, and they want to put it in a, in a hierarchical order. When it, when it submits by building, they want to run it in a certain order. So they actually went in here and created uh, their, their little mini application that, that was tied to the building, and then we use a formula to go link back to that and, and help it as it does its calculation, just by how it's going to pull things in and, and do the calculation. So just anything out of the box you can kind of think of there that you might want to keep data that you can use without having to either write it or store it in leak logs or, or stick it somewhere else in a generic location, category codes, you can build the application to do that. And that's kind of one where it eliminates slap on imports or, or uh, integration points to outside processes. That's kind of what she had, she had kind of put that in there. She was, I think we can use it for this instead of uh, no Z files. You've got to write a UBE to be able to bring this data and parts it in. We can, we can use the tool to bring it in over there. So, so uh, definitely uh, some potential there. And then uh, kind of the bottom things there are uh, just, it's just it's part of the standard tool set. It's, it's, like I said, it's no new tools that you've never seen. It's all filled with the tool set. So it's, it's something that you'll be familiar with. It's not, you know, something you're, you've not seen before as tools and how it's put together. So we've used all the tool set. Uh, what we try to do is keep it in the tool set so it's easy for the upgrade, it's easy for whoever comes along later. They can look at it and they can understand and figure out what's going on if they want to you know, modify it or add to it or whatever. Try to keep it keep as simple as we could. Okay, I'll jump in. This, this is like one of the one of the screens, and I'll, I'll kind of show you. It's really just one where you, you create the spreadsheet, um, and I'll kind of go through uh, what some of these what these some of these are. But uh, actually, here there's some user definable filters at the top. If you can go in and you can do a, an override to say. Uh, I want to add a UDC, basically, or a data dictionary item that has a UDC attached to it, and that's going to be my filter now. So you got some user-definable filters at the top that you can set uh, for your application. It's all based on a, a name. So you give it a name and a version. You can make it uh, private or public. So you can create this and make it private, but it's just something that you're using to do calculations and reporting off of. Or you can make it as kind of a corporate where we use, for one, we're keeping track of, of some of our, 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 our TDR rules and our TDR calculations in EP. So we created one that actually keeps track of that out there. We can write that TDR stuff out there and do whatever other calculations we want to with it and use it back in our EP generation. So many different ways you can build you a, build you a place to hold your data and then reuse that in uh, other modules. Define the filters here. Uh, it has user definable buttons. There's a, there's a bank of buttons here. You can actually uh, click on form, uh, form exit. It takes you out the user final button. You can enter in the application name, the form, the version, and instantly it becomes available as a button 
right on the screen without going to IT. So you can you can add buttons, you can build your an application, add buttons to it at the top. They go to other parts of uh, of JD Edwards. Again, in the real estate we're talking about, we had this for property taxes. We had all the property taxes uh, out there by building. Uh, then create a link that would take them back to the lease. You know, and go uh, vice versa. We can have them going back and forth to each other. Build it and put it as an integration right into your regular process. And there's no IT to get this built. This is all user uh, user built. And so what it does, it has like a spreadsheet table, and it it creates like a like a virtual table within inside the table. So it's all unique to the spreadsheet and the person. So when you go out and you want to read data from this, like do a report from, you just go out with the, with the spreadsheet name and the version, and then it has your rows and columns, just like you have in Excel. And, and you see that in the in the table, and you can read those, you can update them, just standard stuff you can do in JDF. The, uh, the only part you look at now is you'll see a field name out there that is column A, column B, column C. You see different field names and then the different rows of the spreadsheet. And then uh, also with the user buttons, you can actually create some row exits with those buttons, make them as row exits. There is an option on there too as as uh, you set up the button, you can tell it what column that uh, you want it to pass information from uh, to your to your calling program. And that part's a little bit advanced. You gotta know how the, uh, the, the data structures work on the tool side. Um, it's not no programming that you have to do, you just have to understand that. But there's a way to put those together. We, what we do is uh, we, we build that for you behind the scenes. So we let you put in what column you want and then what sequence number that it needs to be passed to your other program in. And then we, we use a, a function inside the tool set that basically parses that out and pushes it to the program that we're calling. So it's the same process that J.D. Edwards uses behind the scenes on all of their their programs as it, as it integrates together, we just uh, give you a screen to enter some of that data and then we build it from what you enter to pass it on. So I could build a button that says if I'm on, if I, whatever I'm on and I click this button, it's going to pull column D and then whatever row I'm in, it pulls that value and can pass it to the program that I'm, I'm wanting it to call. You can build uh, some form exits and row exits with those buttons. And then you can, uh, you can color code rows uh, inside of the spreadsheet. So as you see here, you know, multiple are yellow. I can, I can create them. This is basically, we did one for a client that's got like three, three different spreadsheets in one. They all have calculations that, that, uh, that are, are uh, tied together. So we just built, built it in one, and we just separated them with the highlighted rows so they can see where the column headings are to kind of break them down. So you can highlight rows, you can, you can change font, color, you can change um, you know, bold, italics, all that kind of stuff. It doesn't do like 100% of what Excel does. We're, we're continuing to add to it, but you know, as you add to Excel, there's a lot of functions there. We're just adding pieces as we go. Uh, and then what, what is the really cool, cool factor to this is, uh, is formula. You can do the FCM formulas, which we'll get into more of that, but you could also do just kind of uh, Excel-type formulas where I could put in, just do a plus, type in my, my column, uh, my row information, just like I can in Excel, and it actually does a calculation right there on the screen. You can build uh, like a, a spreadsheet right there on the screen, and it shows up in blue. So when you look at this spreadsheet, anything you see in blue, you know, has a formula type behind it. And you can actually click a button to go see what you did, see the details of it. But uh, you can do this kind of right on the fly and do some calculations from it. So it gives you a nice little way to build your little spreadsheet of data that you can use anywhere else in JD Edwards or use it just for reporting. And then uh, we go here. This is just kind of a, one of the applications we had built for another customer using the tool. We just built it. No IT involvement. We just put this thing together where it goes to sales orders and sales order quotes. And it's got a couple... This sold list, it links to other spreadsheets because you can link them together. You can link these applications together. And so uh, you can go in and do the header text button. You can change the text on the uh, on the column. So it doesn't just say ABC. You can actually change it on the fly to make it have text and build your little application to store your data. Pretty, pretty neat little application, pretty simple to set up. And then you can also, we've had a couple of customers who take it and they use that as a base. They take it and they copy it and they go in and they add all the other custom items they want to add to at that point. Uh, so it, it's actually uh, a lot of stuff you can you can build right in there and, and be able to show it. And that's pretty well the application builder, just kind of in a nutshell. No, no limit on spreadsheets. Um, 
Unlimited number of spreads. The only limit we have right now is on the limit of number of columns. It's kind of really how this came about. It kind of turned into this was the customers, we were looking at real estate, you know, a lot of them, they use spreadsheets. They live by them to do EP. I mean, they just, they have to right now. So what we've done with another another client that is using the tool, um, one of them is they have, uh, they have where they want to update all the units in a building. Well, right now you got to go into EP or go into uh, the real estate module, go into each unit, do your update, come back out, and they go back in. We actually use this tool. They go in and we created a little field on there that basically is for the, the building, for the MCU. They key it in and then we had a button that goes out and retrieves all of the units for that building and brings it in and dumps it in the spreadsheet. And then they do their update and then we had another button that pushed the data back out into, uh, into uh, the, uh, the, the unit master and did the update. So you could use that to, you know, things like that, or like you said, store any other data that you want to use or push back into J.D. Edwards, into the different real estate modules uh, without having to go build it. You can use this tool to do it. And, and again, you can take it and use it to set up all the extra features. You can actually define a button that calls a custom program. So, for example, you build, you've got all this built where you've got all the data entry points, you've got all the, the, the logic that you want there, you've got calculation. So you can say, okay, I can, I can do everything in this, but I need to create, I need to create a, 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 have IT create me a custom button that's going to take the data and it's going to go out to, you know, several different JD Ever tables and do updates out of that. I mean, you can do that without having to basically start from scratch. But what the application guys like about it, they can build everything they want it to do kind of right here and kind of get it as far as they want. Then they might come back to us and say, okay, I can take it already here. I just need this one piece. Can you help me get this one piece together? So the potential is, is wide open out there. But that's exactly how this thing started was I wanted to take a bunch of these old spreadsheets, bring them into the system and keep them here where they're secure, they're backed up. I know what data is going into them. And then I can take them and start moving them into JD Edwards in different pieces as we go. Okay, Any, anything else on our spread? But it's, it's wide open uh, what, what you can use it for. So uh, we, uh, when they get it, they get the license, they can use it for whatever they want. So they're not limited to just DP. They can use it for, for whatever you want to use it for. We actually got a couple of uh, clients using it in uh, manufacturing. They're, they're using it to do uh, a couple of different things, uh, custom pieces of manufacturing to keep track of uh, one is updating pricing where advanced pricing uh, falls short in a couple of areas to do uh, different kinds of blended pricing and other things. They're actually using the tool to bring in and, and store all of their pricing here and then that we push it out to advanced pricing when, it, when they go through their different calculations they do here, then it goes out to advanced pricing and does the update to advanced pricing. So they don't have to modify advanced pricing. They don't do anything special. Everything's done in here. It has formulas, calculations right here. They do what they need to do, and then they push it out. Makes it very easy, very easy and clean to deal with, and then it's upgradable. Uh, kind of the summary of application builder. You know, what we kind of point out is it uh, uses to store data that doesn't have a home in JD Edwards, like your spreadsheets or taxes and and some of these other custom things that you need to keep track of. It's just not there that you normally have to either build or stick in lease logs or somewhere else to keep up with it. And import the old, uh, uh, import your old Excel keep it inside the system, uh, you know, import the data browser. It's got all the security is in place, standard JD ever security, nothing unique about that, all standard security. And then it's accessible from other modules. If customers putting in there, then they can run their standard reports off of it. This would, you know, definitely be something that uh, I know all, get all of them there, that's key point is, I want to be able to put this in, but I want to be able to pull it out and show it on report. You know, right now it's not easy, uh, easily done. Uh, it's very easy now. It's just referencing the spreadsheet and pulling it into your report. And then it's uh, on a central location. It's all safe inside of the GDF at that point. And you have the audit, security, everything else with the, with the data. So pretty neat little tool to be able to keep up.